Okay, so welcome back and let's open our Safari browser and say Appium Char Download. Okay, so here go to the Maven repository. 2.1.0 is the latest version where I am making this video. So just go to this link maven repository so about the maven i talk in my later lectures if you scroll down in my course content you will see the maven topics as well but right now i'm just sticking to basics okay maven framework execution i deal in my further lectures when where i talk about appium framework design okay so right now just come to this maven repository.com and here you have a download jar where you can download Appium jars. Okay. So for now, forget about this Maven. I'll be talking on this the later part. Phase 2 part. Phase 1 is learning about Appium. And phase 2 is designing a framework. Right. So now just download the jar. So once you download it, it will be in your download section. Oops, there are many... Let me open the download. Yeah, you will see something like this Appium 1.3.4 DMG. Okay, so once you download, you will be seeing something like this. And also, you need Selenium as well. Okay, you have to, there is a usage for Selenium also in this. So, Appium jars will not only be enough to start your programming. You need selenium jars as well so for that you can just go to the selenium official site and you can get it from there selenium jars download fine so download selenium you can just click on this link okay so here java as we are writing in Java language, just download this. That's it. So 2.4.45 is the latest version. Just download that. So once you download, you get in the same style as how you got for Appium. And yeah, this is the one. Selenium 2.45.0. So if you open, you will have all the jars related to Selenium. So that's all. These are the jars we need. To run our test cases and we have successfully downloaded fine so with this the installation part is done we have all the tools required to start our automation okay what we have done just we have a recap so first we have downloaded xcode which is on heart of the mac machine where you can develop your app and as well as you get your iphone simulator where you can work to on running your automation test cases and you can get it that from app store if you don't have it and next you have made sure you have iOS simulator when you download your xcode and you got your version there and next you have downloaded java which is must to run your appm test cases and also the installing eclipse so where you write your appm automation test cases this is an ide where we write our code so downloading appium server jars so appium plus selenium here okay these will drive our test cases the programs we write will be driven by these jars okay without these jars there is nothing fine so with these steps we are ready and we have successfully done our setup okay now let's i'll switch back to the android and start my first program in android so let me talk briefly, I mean comprehensively on Android about all the Appium APIs. So once we are done with Android, then I'll switch back to iOS. So I request you to watch the Android tutorials as well. Please don't directly jump to iOS tutorials which are available after 4 or 5 sections. Okay. So immediately after this lecture, I'm starting with Android. As we have seen Android installation already in our previous section now i'm going to resume from the from there and we'll start automating using android apps so 
all the apm apis all the components which needed for execution will be taught in android then i'll switch back to the ios tutorials and explain how can we automate in mac machine but please don't directly jump to the mac because you will be losing some concepts okay where i teach those in apm android fine so that's it about mac and we will come back after few sections to this mac lecture and start our automating test cases in ios app okay so let's go back and switch to our android version thank you